It is early in the morning, y'all. We are leaving the house, 5.03. Our flight starts boarding in like 45 minutes. There were so many people, but we made it through. It's gonna start boarding any second, right? All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're stopping in Chicago and then off to Vegas. Catch y'all soon. It smells worse, I'll tell you that. Oh. Only one bed this time? No, which one you're sleeping with? <laughs> uh, what's the view like, y'all? Garage. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wow, well, get the room in the castle. Nice. It definitely smells like cigarettes. And there's a sign here that says no cigarettes. The Vegas view. Where's T Mobile? Is that on the other side? Yeah, I think T-Mobile might be on the other side yeah, of the hotel. Yeah, it's supposed to be the lab building, us, and then T-Mobile's supposed to be on the other side. Oh, okay. I'm happy to get it, by the way. It's okay. I'll get, a, I'll get an angle of it. This is the room, <laughs> y'all. All right, let's go. We're actually able to make it to the weigh-ins today. So we're going to the weigh-ins. Uh, I think there's a Q&A. Maybe might get to meet uh, Brandon Moreno. Uh, it'd be cool, but either way, uh, stay tuned for the footage, y'all. A little bit more than I had last time in Nashville.
athletes that share the spotlight in tomorrow night's main event. Well, Mexico is as proud a fighting nation as there is in the world, and no woman from that great nation has realized the UFC title. That is what is in front of the Lexi Grasso here tonight. Valentina Shevchenko is going to make it eight successive flyweight title defenses. I prepare myself for so many years, so when the fight started, Expecting to be outside in the middle of the summer in Las Vegas. It was hot as shit out here. So y'all, you know, we got to meet Brandon Moreno. Uh, it was cool, quick, but we were being rushed. So that's the whole reason why I don't personally like going to like meet and greets, because you feel rushed. I didn't get any autographs, just got a picture and uh, and that's it. But uh, you know, he like seemed really nice for three seconds, but you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, next time, right? soaking wet so new york new york gave us some uh, vouchers for uh, free drinks or something like that you know i uh, kind of made up for it at least but i really wish my hotel floor wasn't soaking wet look at this y'all <laughs> the blanket from like a foot down is just soaking wet when it was on the floor rough but it is fight day so that's pretty cool um super bright outside also I thought it was only like this one, this window, but the hotel windows wrap all the way around over here too. Can't really see a, a ton. It's not the best view in the world, just like a roller coaster, but it's fight day. Uh, sh trying to do a uh, Justin Gaethje meet and greet today. Hopefully it turns out better than the Brandon Moreno one did yesterday because we stood in line forever to see Brandon Moreno and then we were almost there and then they're like, hey, y'all, he has to hurry. So no autographs. We're just going to take a quick picture and shake hands and that's it. So all the people that were there in the beginning of the line, I'm sure they got autographs and everything. But unfortunately, us being, I guess, midway through the line, he only had about 10, 20 minutes left and no autographs. So at least I got a picture. So that's cool. But uh, no assassin baby autograph. So kind of bummed about that. All right, here we go. Trying to go into the Justin Gage he'd be great. But I think there's already a shit ton of people, so here we go.
La Mexicana. Join us right here, folks. We have the BMF Pickle. So please come up here, take a picture with it. Like I said, celular, la cámara. Upload it to your social media. And don't forget to hashtag UFC. Thank you. 
opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A big punch for Lomas, holding a punch for the record. Strong wins, one loss, he's tagged by the United to call. Weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of the state of Nevada,
and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for! Live from the Team Rebel Arena in Las Vegas!
was fun. Two robberies, three robberies. Three robberies. Three robberies. Kevin Holland, uh, Padilla, and Grosso. Three robberies. Ready? All right, here we go. We're going out. Out on the town. <laughs> Fights as a whole, babe. What do you think? They're pretty good. I was, I like them a lot. I like them better than the Nashville fights. Uh, that's the last yeah, card that we like to. So uh, pretty cool, you know. No complaints. Wish Grasso got the dub. I personally thought she won round two, round four, and round five, but that's just me. I didn't really uh, agree with the 10-8, but uh, you know, it is what it is. And still draw, but. <sighs> Would have won like 600 bucks on a bet, but it's alright. Won like 200 tonight. Came to Vegas, made zero bets, and won 200 bucks. So, you know, can't complain too much. Now I'm gonna go uh, probably waste some money. You know, uh, catch y'all later. busy as it was last night. Made it on the flight, heading back to Virginia. We had a good time. made it back home to Virginia no issues this time so you know that was pretty cool I truly had a blast this is my first time ever going to Vegas and um you know I couldn't have had a better time I, everything I did was fun I had stuff to do every moment that I was there I actually wish I had just a few more days just to explore because here in the next uh, year or so I'm planning on moving from Virginia looking to go out west and Vegas is actually an option so um, you know, you may find me out in Vegas a lot more often. It would benefit the YouTube channel a ton. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, there's a pros and cons to everywhere, but I like Vegas and I think that's a solid option to go to. But that being said, uh, yeah, uh, you guys saw me at the end of the video. I got a picture with Anthony Smith and Cheeto. Uh, I actually did get them both to sign two cards each. I'll uh, make sure to throw a couple of pictures up of those, uh, you know. Uh, all together though, um, you know, everyone that I met, uh, all the fighters were super cool. If there was one thing that I wish I could have changed, it's like the, uh, just the interaction like with the fighters, you know, but I understand because they've been standing there so long, you know, what are they going to say to every single fan? But, uh, Justin Gaethje didn't say anything at all. He was like, so <laughs> like, and then that's it. Um, everyone else at least, uh, talked to you. I think my favorite personally that I've met, um, out of everyone was probably Tatiana Suarez. She was super nice. Uh, she was like, hey, I, like, I like your shirt. I had a Irina Aldana shirt on, so like it wasn't even her shirt or like or anything like that, but she was super cool. She was super sweet. Um, yeah, I saw a ton of fighters though. Cheeto, Anthony Smith, Daniel Zellhuber. I saw Diego Costa and, or, sorry, Diego Lopes and Alessandro Costa when I was walking into my hotel. So that was all pretty cool. Uh, you know, once again, one more time, I had a blast. Anyone that uh, watches to this point, I hope you uh, enjoyed the vlog. I tried to really cut it down this time. It's not anywhere close to an hour like it was last time. Just a little bit over 30 minutes, or it should be. But uh, my name is Matt. This is the Golden Octagon. If you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Support your boy over here. But that's going to be all for me here uh, this time. Golden Octagon MMA Podcast will be Wednesday. But until then, I'll catch y'all later. Matt, peace.
Peace.